Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I shall be discussing on global unicast addresses. In the block, uh, in the address space allocation of IPv6 address, you have seen there are five different addresses, five blocks. And one of the block is the major block that is consisting of huge number of addresses. The largest block is the global unicast addresses. And these things definitely you have to remember for global unicast. One eighth of IPv6 addresses comes under this block. The CIDR notation for this block is given here in this way. And the prefix block prefix is 00. That means any IPv6 starting with this three digit 001 is what <coughs> the uh, uh, global unicast address. Now try to understand the global unicast address. See, you are starting with what? How many 128 bits of IPv6 address? Similar to IPv4 wherein you divided into prefix part and the suffix part. Here you just see how this IPv6 128 bits are divided. It, it can be divided into what? Three different parts. The first part is called as the global routing prefix. Okay. The second part in this is subnet identifier. And the third part is called as the interface identifier. Now these three parts, how you are relating with actual network. So for that reason, I have shown here one diagram. So you can see the diagram. Now this particular network is a huge network, but for the sake of simplicity, we have taken that this network is having two subnets here. Just for the sake of simplicity, it can have many number of subnets. There is one subnet here, another subnet here. And to each of this subnet, subnetwork, there will be definitely certain number of hosts that are connected. So that is obvious in any ne network diagram. You have been saying that network is first consisting of what? If it is just LAN, you will have one switch connected with a different host. Once it, once you want to make those hosts to communicate with the other parts or with other hosts belonging to other networks, then the router will come into picture. So that is how you have to show one example here, wherein you are saying that this is the router which is connected to the internet. That means to all the other networks. And this network has got different subnetworks and each subnetwork is having certain number of hosts. Now you just see how these parts of the IPv6 addresses are related to the different, pa different uh, parts of the diagram or parts of the network. Now the first two part global routing prefix is denoting the site. Site here is what this complete network consisting of different subnetworks. So that means the broader part of this, the larger network is, is called as site here. And this is represented with how many? It is represented with the letter N in this case. You can write down any letter. N bits. N is how many bits? 48 bits. 48 bits are used to represent the site. And we call it as the global routing prefix. The second part of the address is the subnet identifier. For any subnet, you have to give the ID, isn't it? So how many bits you are using to represent that subnet ID? 16 bits. You are using the letter here M. M bits are meant for the subnet ID. So you can see here M bits define subnet. This one as well as where is, yeah, this one. I can show you it is not just only this subnet, this or this. So this M bits is defining what the subnet. Then the third part of this IPv6 interface identifier is represented with the letter Q here. And it is consisting of how many 64 bits are used to represent the interface identifier. And what, where exactly, what exactly you mean to say interface identifier? This 64 bits defines the interface. Interface is what? The connection. So, if in, the, in IPv4 also you have seen, the, there are some 64 hosts that are connected to the network, isn't it? For the host ID, you are using certain number of bits. Similarly, here only we are changing the nomenclature. The word used is interface. It is what the, for the host part, you are using this particular word here interface identifier and that is for the connection isn't it so this 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 all this is what denoting the interface identifier in this diagram fine so to make it more simpler if you want you can just try to recall with the ipv4 also we have been telling that okay this will be one organization a big organization a organization will have what subnets and for each subnet there will be certain number of hosts connected. So now you can relate these things with whatever I have shown here for the IPv6. Global routing prefix defines site means defines the largest that is the organization block. 
then subnet identifier defines subnet these are the subnet ids then the interface identifier defines what the interfaces that means the number of host id number of hosts that are connected to each of this uh, subnet so normally the ip address is given not to the host it is given to the interface isn't it because the host is what you are telling your host is a particular device or a particular node which will move from one network to another network the whole the device is going to move from one network to another network but connection exists in that so for that connection only you are giving the ipv6 address or ipv4 address so that is how you can relate to this diagram so if any question is asked to explain about the global unicast addresses you just start writing okay the global unicast address consisting of three parts better to show with a diagram with an illustration because it is very much clear that you are trying to indicate each part of this ipv6 address to what exactly you mean in the network isn't it so here you are saying okay global 48 bits global routing prefix subnet 16 bits and the interface now one example for a global unicast address in ipv6 in hexadecimal notation i have written here you can see okay how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 eight sections are there this is an example for global unicast address consisting of what how many 128 bits and now you can relate global routing prefix is how much 48 bits 48 bits the starting 48 bits are always the global routing prefix so this is 16 32 and 32 so that means now up till here this is the global routing prefix this the next 16 bits are used for the subnet identifier so these are what these these are 16 bits then you have what the interface identifier how many bits are there 64 bits fine so all put together 16 16 16 16 this part is your interface identifier so this is how what this is what i wanted to tell you 48 bits 16 bits and 64 bits when you add this 48 plus 16 plus 64 it becomes 128 so this is one example here which i have shown for what global routing a global unicast address so better to explain with the diagram indicating what part of the ipv6 indicates which part of the co which component in the network So hope the explanation is clear to you all thank you bye bye take care